Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your old friend. Well, not really old, you're used to this by now. This is a very, very special edition of From Grateful to Greatness. As you can tell, it's special not only because we're in a car that's moving, and not only because we're driving, but RJ's driving, he's in this video. And uh, as of now, you probably should know who RJ is, but if you don't, if you're new to this, if this is the first episode you're ever watching, which is kind of weird, but whatever, RJ is the other half of One More Round Entertainment. And uh, he is the quiet one. I'm the face. I'm the guy who doesn't shut the fuck up. But he should be the face because he looks like Tony Stark and I look like fucking Benjamin Grimm. But whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're on the way to our first convention of the year. It's Mighty Con. We're both pretty psyched about it. And I wanted to do this special video today. Oh, wait. Hold on. I forgot to do the intro. God, I'm so amped up, guys. I'm sorry. It's the Red Bull. Every episode of From Grateful to Greatness starts off with me being grateful, so I'm grateful for my wife, my family, my friends, everybody who follows me on social media, all of you who take the time to watch these videos, and God and the universe for allowing your boys another day on this planet to talk to you. All right, so that's the intro. And so the reason I'm bringing this up is I'm really, really psyched. RJ's psyched, even though he's kind of chill right now, but he's pretty, he's driving, he's trying to focus. It's not easy to focus hearing me babble, 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 and all that shit. But um, the reason I'm doing this episode is I wanted to talk to you guys about why I'm so psyched up all the time about the shit I do. And RJ can attest to this, even if he doesn't agree on camera, he might, he probably will hear something I say and agree, but both of us... Um, well, we've known each other since we were like eight, and we went through quite a bit of shit, man. A lot of different things and a lot of the same things. We went through a lot, a lot, a lot of shit. A lot. RJ actually went to the Air Force, believe it or not. And um, that's something that, you know, some a, a trial he went through, if you <laughs> want to call it that. Um, but uh, both of us have been through quite a bit, and the reason that I and he, you know, I'm more of a, I'm more of a bombastic, emotional, animated type. But don't let the cool demeanor fool you. He's extremely excited about shit like this because both of us, with all the shit that we've been through, to be where we are right now, doing what we're doing, is like to call it a dream come true. Even though we're not like rich or famous or any shit like that. Both of us, considering all the dumbass things we've done, all the mistakes we've made, and all the bad things that we've been through that weren't of our doing, just bad experiences in general, considering all that, like, we shouldn't be here right now. You know, like, we really should not be here. We should, yeah, I should be fucking dead. You guys know my story. RJ, I don't know where the hell he would be, but... Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, the reason I'm bringing this up is, I mean, it's 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 a testament to the whole one more round thing. The reason we make comics, the reason uh, you know I write what I write, the blogs, the book, the reason these videos even exist is because you just gotta keep going, man. You just gotta keep going. I know I harp on this point constantly, but we right here are living proof that if you just keep going and you don't stop, and you don't give up, and you don't let the setbacks become your identity. You can make pretty fucking amazing things happen, man. You can you can be, you know, two clowns who are totally, you know, goofballs at conventions promoting a dream that would be dreams uh, that we created, man. I mean, we got two issues of our comic, my book, a podcast, another comic on the way, another book on the way. It's just... The reason is, I'm not bragging, this isn't about showing off, this is bottom line to show you guys that if you got a dream, if you really, really, really got something inside that you want to make happen, don't fucking wait and really understand that we are both living proof that RJ needs to turn right. We're both, <laughs> we're both living proof that it is possible to overcome almost anything to make something that other people don't even know how to do become reality and we didn't know how to do it when we, we didn't, yeah exactly if you didn't hear him he just said we didn't know how to do it either when we first started and that's the truth like i didn't know what the fuck i was doing when i lost weight we didn't know what the fuck we were doing when we started to make a comic book i didn't know a damn thing about writing books 
you know, everything we've been doing is little by little, step by step. And that's one other point I want to make before I sign off because we're almost at the con. And that is, if you got a dream, start small, man. You know, a lot of times people get intimidated by the magnitude of this dream they have. They got this big dream and they're like, how the hell am I going to do this? Even a comic book, it, it, it's, it's a big undertaking. It might not seem like that much, but it really is. It takes a lot of effort, planning, writing, back and forth with artists, money, money, money. <laughs> it takes a lot, man. And, oh, and you know... <laughs> Like I said, man, you got a big dream, whatever it is, weight loss, learning to play the guitar, becoming a fucking rodeo clown. I don't know what it is you want to do, but start small. Don't let the magnitude and the size of the dream deter you from what you were put on this earth to do. Because if you start small, you'll start to see that little by little, the universe will respond and things will fall into place. I promise you. And that's it. We're here. Look at that. Perfect timing. Time to go sell some comics, send some good mojo our way, and remember, all you need is a start and some heart. Peace.